Hi Hip Lovers, it's Deanne Love here teaching you all the tips and tricks that you need to know to be a superstar hooper. So over on the Hoop Lovers Facebook page, I asked you what you want to learn and I'm so grateful for your responses. There are so many and I'm completing all of the tutorials to help you out with your requests. Now just having a little look down here, there is a beautiful lady, Tanya, and Tanya wants to learn isolations, chest rolls, back rolls, leg reversals, duck in and out from one shoulder, and behind the back elbow passes. How cool, what a great list. Well, I'm gonna to touch on one of those things right now, and that's the duck in and out from one shoulder. I'm gonna give you a few variations so that you can play around with it and have a lot of fun with that shoulder duck in and out. Now, whether you're just starting out or you're a superstar hooper, you always want to check in with your posture and your timing when you come to a more advanced moves like these duck outs and duck ins. And sometimes just small adjustments in your posture or your timing can make huge differences in, execute, in executing these moves. So we're going to start off on the neck and remembering that all of the energy is pulsing from the belly. It's not from the neck or the head swaying. Once your posture is out of alignment, you just won't keep that momentum so you want to keep your body up nice and tall you also for me it goes to the left so I like to push with the left or the right front side and the left back side okay so now we've got this posture we're gonna check for the timing so first of all I'm going to start out with a fairly easy duck out move and what you're going to do if your hoop goes to the left you're going to take your left hand up and now you're pulsing with your left armpit and your right side neck. So you can feel it's almost like a percussion. You can sense this or hear the drum beat. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now when the hoop hits the armpit, it means that there is a big gap over on this right side. So keeping the body nice and tall, when you feel that pulse on the armpit, one, two, you're going to duck out on two. Ready, let's go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now, if you duck forward, this is what's going to happen. The hoop is going to drag forward, it's going to hit you in the back of the head. That is a common move. If you duck out to the side, then the hoop can clear over the top of your head and you can use your left eye to look up and find the gap. So, let's try it again. Up, armpit, touches, out to the side and up, out to the side and up. Now notice that I'm doing this all standing still in one direction, which makes it harder. So why not turn? Get used to it, slow the hoop down. When we turn, we open up the space. So turning, out and in, and out and in. Keeping the arm raised up towards the sky. All right, so the same kind of principles apply when you want to do it on your shoulder. So you're going to duck that shoulder up and really squeeze it towards your ear and down and up and down. So now when the hoop is hitting on the outside of the shoulder, that means that the opening is coming around to your right side. So we duck up, out and in. Now, if you let this shoulder drop, this is what's going to happen. Of course, the hoop is going to drop, but if you keep the shoulder up nice and high as you duck out to the side, make sure you warm up your neck, give it some length, then you're going to be able to keep the hoop rotating around your shoulder. Now, if this does happen and it feels like it keeps slipping off your shoulder, you can do this kind of cheeky cool move. So up, up and grab the hoop as it slides down the arm. And then, looks like you totally meant to do it. So, a few variations. Standing still, ducking out to the side, or turning in a circle, and ducking out, and in, and out, and in. Or getting that shoulder up and into the action, and ducking out, and in. Now here's a cool other variation. If you're finding that you're coming back up into the duck in with your shoulder up, your head ducks out, 
you can come in and push your chest straight into the flow so that it's one fluid movement from one trick to the next. So you're not kind of stuck doing this and then the next one. You want to turn it into a flow. So moving around, shoulder up, chest up, arms fly back and it becomes one continuous fluid movement. Thank you Hoopers. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure that you share it with your Hooper friends so that they can strengthen their Super Hooper powers. And if you have any requests about anything to do with hooping, please leave me a comment on the Hoop Lovers Facebook page.